Yes, we are back. Back again in Train Sim Classic. Back again to do another route in the UK. Back again in something diesel. Back again. And I know there's a few of them. In a pacer. Yes, it's pacer time. Uh, I haven't been a pacer since the last time I think I did this route. I uh, did it along with some other routes. So it may just do this one. May do this one and a little one afterwards. Uh, in a pacer here on the um, Portsmouth uh, to Waterloo line. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't remember what it's called. Uh, but we're starting here at Portsmouth and South Sea. Because that's what the sign says. And that's where we are. Uh, making our way uh, to uh, Woking. That's the place. Uh, so yes, that's what we're going to do. If you're watching this on the YouTubes, uh, then hello. Uh, this going out on Train Sim uh, Wednesday. Uh, other train content is something from Train Sim World 2 on a Saturday. Uh, something from... From OMSI currently on a Monday. Uh, on a Friday, I put out one of the other streams that we do. And I've got something new to look at. That goes out on random Sunday. Uh, so yeah, I haven't done this route. And I haven't done a Pacer trip since my birthday. Uh, sort of five months prior to this uh, being uh, redone. Uh, so I thought I'd do this one again. Good evening to Trent, by the way. So we'll hop inside. Um, we've got uh, less than a mile to our next stop. We will release the brakes. And then do that. Uh, Shorty, 20 moths. Hope you got the moth spray out. I have got the uh, the moth spray out. Thank you very much, Shorty. Uh, 20 of the moths. That's uh, that's many moths. I'm also slightly doing a speeding thing. We don't care about that. Actually, we do care about that a little bit. Let's, uh, let's doing the speedy thing down a little tiny bit. Oh, now we get a 25 limit. Yay. Hi, JP. Right, so Fratton. God, this brings back memories. God, the amount of times I've spent hours and hours and hours sat in this thing. And the 143. Oh, it's so good. I just think this is such an iconic train. It's so good. Hi, Michael. So, making our way slowly into Fratton. So, we're going to start at Portsmouth and South Sea. So, it's Fratton, Hilsey, uh, Bedhampton, Havant, Rowlands Castle, Petersfield, Liss, uh, Liphook, Hazelmere, Godalming, Farncombe, Guildford, Warplesden, and Woking. Uh, so, uh, a little bit of a trek ahead of us. Uh, we just coast along. We don't care about the time. It doesn't matter about being early or late. As long as we get there in one piece, that's all that's important, really. We've got a little shaft in here. Oh, we have. Oh, hang on. I can't pull my shaft back. Hang on. I've got to get the grip, lower down my shaft. Nope, I can only push it forward. I can't pull it back. Easy. See, there's a there's a train, a 450. See, I know what they're called. It's not as nice as my pacer. Yeah, if you are watching this on the YouTube, so there'll be some links in the doobly doo below. Uh, I won't link the line because we might probably change another one uh, to another one. Uh, there'll be a link to uh, the Twitch page down below, uh, where you can watch me live on the Twitchy doing these sort of things and other sorts of things. So things. Um, and uh, there'll also be a link to the uh, Discord server as well down there. Right, and we come to Fratton. Slowly, very slowly. I think I'll stop a little bit ahead of where we should be stopping, but it's fine. There we go. Open the doors. What? Okay. Well, he just slid. He did a bit of a Michael Jackson uh, moonwalky thing. Thing. You know, the thing. Have we got a 
Oh, we haven't got an inside view on this one, have we? Oh, we can look at it far away. Where the hell's that? That's scary. That's the back. That's the middle. There's the front. Not the middle. That's the front. Where well, is the middle? Technically, it's near the front. Right, Fratton, we are about to leave. We use the accelerator rings then. Right, Hillsy is next in uh, 2.2 miles. Right, 40 limit. Oh, I forgot how rapid this thing was compared to the 166. Although I don't think I'm going to hit the 40 limit by the time I get the 80 limit. There we go, we now get the 80 limit. Yeah, I quite like the 166. Thumbnail. Such a professional. Because this I've got to do the whole, you know, got to do the brakey thing and the acceleratory thing. Because I've got two knobs. I've got one knob there for the brakey, no. One knob there for the brakey thing, one knob here for the acceleratory thing. That's what they're called. That's their official term. So 85 limit. I don't think we're going to get to 85 somehow. I won't quite do the coasting yet. And yes, I should make an appointment to the doctors. Excuse me, doc. Can I look at these? Yeah, high speed isn't going to be an issue on this journey. Right, slow it down into Hillsy. Slow it down a bit more into Hillsy. I may have mentioned it once or twice. It'll be long till it's Christmas. So I have to start planning this year's long journey in a pacer. So I think it's going to be Edinburgh to... No, London to Edinburgh. Not stopping at every station. So last time we did uh, Edinburgh to London, stopping at all the stations. And this time we won't. Uh, we'll just stop at key stations. That's the plan. Hurry up, people. I've got a timetable to not keep to. No, still can't pull it backwards. No, can only push it forwards. Maximum speed, 75 miles an hour. I think we've proven before that it'll do more than that. It takes a while, but it'll do more than that. Right, Bedhampton is next in 3.38 miles. Wait for the beep beep. There we go. Now oh, hang on though. No. Didn't like that, did they? Thank you. Mm. 
Off we go, Bedhampton next. Yeah, I might need a cab fan on in this heat. It actually doesn't feel as hot uh, today as it was yesterday. It's not bad. Right, 50 limit coming up. Then an 85 limit, but with only three miles to go. How's the worky thing? Yeah, it was good. Uh, got called a chav. Um, people in the office turned the air conditioning off again because it was getting too cold. Which is just ridiculous. Right, two and a half miles to go. Well, there was a bit of health and safety braking, but you know. Got my trainers dirty as well, weren't happy with that. Regional, regional railways, and then he said, "Then, All right, one point nine miles to go to Bedhampton. Uh, our ETA is um, fourteen thirty-nine. We do arrive at fourteen thirty-six. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're currently running uh, three minutes late. So we're doing well." So this whole journey is supposed to take uh, an hour and 20 minutes, although it says it's a 90 minute scenario. I don't know how that's the thing. Because, you know, no one on train sim can ever know what time is. Uh, this is the, the Portsmouth to Watford thing. Watford, something. Port, Portsmouth to Woking. I haven't linked it because I'll, I'll likely do another one if it's any short. <coughs> we end up doing the Bristol to Western Supermare because that's always, it's the only one I've got that's like half an hour. <coughs> oh, I braked really early then, didn't I? Oh well. We're going to be even later, slightly, possibly, a little bit. Oh, look, <coughs> blimey. You can see how close we are to haven't as well. Haven't, have not. So there must be uh, stations further down the line where I'm further apart from them. Bellsmith to where, 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 fetch your cloth. Woking. What's that? Oh, it's a road. I wonder what it was. Didn't recognise it as being a thing. In we come to Bedhampton. Breaking. S some breaking. Some squeaking. It's a train, not me. Oops. Finger slips. Little forklift trundling about over there. Picking up crates. 
Putting them on the back of the lorry. It's pretty quick. Honey? No, not getting honey. I still need some rapid forklift driving. Uh, right, haven't in uh, 0.70 of the miles. Wait for the beepity beep. Wait for the beep. We didn't get a beepity beep. The beepity beep. We didn't get it. That's a noise. No, I'm waiting at the crossing. Imagine living there and having that thing going off. <coughs> I drive the 143. Uh, depends on what routes I've got. I only search for 142. Depends how long this takes as well. If we end up being as late as I think we're going to be, then this might be the only route we do. Into haven't we come? Oh, we're gonna slide. I'm gonna get hit by a bridge parapet. It's got a long station, it haven't. make the most of it. We will use it all. Well, some of it. I'll make the people walk all the way to the end. Ha ha, you've come down the steps or come in the entrance back there. I'm going to stop all the way up here. You have to walk now or you're going to miss your train. One click shopping. Be dangerous, surely. You click on something as oh I like that. Oh damn it, I bought it. Got an empty car park. What time of day is it? Quarter to three in the afternoon? You think it'd be a bit busier. Oops, finger slipped again. Oh, finally. Took his time. Oh, he doesn't like that, did Come on. Thank you. Right, Roland's Castle is next in 3.13 miles. I see smoke down there. What's going on? Oh no, that's, yeah, that's, that's a skip on fire. Is it skip on fire? Is it to skip, skips on fire? Just a slightly burny skip there. Eee, rip veins. No, it's not named after Roland Rat. Right, 2.81 miles to Roland's Castle. Or Roland's Castle, depending on where you're from. Uh, oh, we got X, 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 X. We're doing well. Uh, then we've got Petersfield, Liss, Liphook, Hazelmere, Godalming, Farncombe, Guildford, Warplesdon, and Woking. And depending on how early or late we are on this journey, we may do another one. Because at the moment we're running, um, actually, we're running about two minutes late. That's not bad. And we are flat out. Going up a slight incline. I 
I'd love to try this on one of those um, Austrian routes where it's just all going uphill. I think that could be really interesting because you'd just be flat out or you wouldn't be getting anywhere. I may have to continue our pacer on tour. Right, that's warning us of the speed limit change, but we haven't got to worry about that really. So we're going uphill. And this train ain't exactly built for speed. I'll let the incline take some speed off us. The thing is, a lot of those hilly American routes aren't really passenger routes, are they? They're set for freight, so it's not like you could stop at places. I don't know what would be a good route to take a pacer on. It's wired for sound. Who did that? Was that um, Stiff Pilchard when it did that? I like tall speakers. I like small speakers. What sort of lyric is that? Breaking. Imagine it's on one of the high speed routes. Just be like, be like three hours behind because you'd never get there, would you? We're like, yeah, we've got sort of 100 kilometers to go, 320 kilometer speed limit. Off you go. This thing, it does like about 100 kilometers. A bit more than that, I suppose, about 130 kilometers. Right, Roland's Castle, we have arrived at. Unit number this vehicle other vehicle okay no one's written that down I don't know what unit number I am I am not a number right, oh. right Peters Field 8.35 miles now haha <laughs> you missed the train I'm giving my friend a little toot. I have to wait for the next one. Oh, the speed. It's incredible. still faster than a 166 so accelerating anything is faster than a 166 and it's accelerating especially it's still going uphill as well oh wow okay so we're currently running yeah two minutes late The, the speed's increasing in its number. That's something. Um, actually, we're going to have to back off because we've got a 60 limit coming up and we're going to exceed that. Is 
other train. Hello, other train. Should I give him a friendly little toot? I'll back off. Just so we don't risk it exceeding the 60 mile an hour limit that's coming up down here. It's just such a slow pace, isn't it? It is like driving the 166, because you just wang the throttle all the way forward and then just sit back and chill. That's what I really liked about doing the long journeys in this, because we had like 15, 20 miles between stops, and it was like a 100 mile an hour limit. You knew this thing was never gonna get there. So from my point of view, it was easy. It's called Pacer for a reason, yeah. I just love it because of its quirkiness. I love it because obviously it started out originally as a bus, as a sort of Leyland National. Um, and uh, it's a diesel, obviously, and it's sort of slow. And that's, you know, it ticks all the boxes for me. Maintaining 55 mile an hour ish up a slight hill. Oh, there we go, we're not gaining speed or losing speed now. That is a steady 55.2 miles an hour. Oh, 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 it's flickering off oh, 55.1. Oh, wow, a burst of, of speed then. Yeah, I used to like getting, I don't know what they were, but I used to like getting the little diesels between here and uh, Cheltenham or Gloucester. So obviously I used to go back and forth to Birmingham on the train. And uh, you could either go down to Bristol uh, Parkway or Temple Meads and change, or go up to Cheltenham or Gloucester. So depending on how the connections were and what time of day it was, it was actually quite nice to get on a slower train. That's a line I'd like to see in this, because it's a really nice line between Swindon and Gloucester. Four miles to go. We've actually got a 40 limit coming up. Just got to do some of the slowing down thing. Okay, that's reminding us of the 40. So we'll let it slow down on its own as we come up over the peak of the hill. Yeah, tomorrow night, uh, back with a new game, uh, House Builder. Uh, going to be taking my first look on stream at that. I've actually got a couple of other new games to look at uh, over the coming weeks. So we'll see how House Builder is. Uh, maybe next week we'll try something else new. Uh, and then Friday night, uh, at the moment not looking likely. We're going to be doing some Wreckfest. I don't think there's going to be enough of us. Um, so... Uh, if that's the case, I'll do something else. Uh, sat, uh, Saturday lunchtime, then more trains. Uh, trains in World 2, looking at the Arosa line. Saturday night will be some farming. And then uh, Sunday uh, afternoon, attempt number two of doing Taurus Bus on console. Uh, this time, I'm going to try it on the Xbox, because it failed on the PlayStation. Gand. Gand. No idea. Um, right, 70 limit coming up down here. We have to get ready to do the accelerators. 
Gran Torsim or Gran Turismo. Uh, possibly, we'll see. Right. Oh, DRS is on. There we go. I don't know why that went down to a 40, unless it's just a restriction through the tunnel. So a 70, then an 85. Yeah, considering the speed limit on this thing is 75. I think we have had it up in the mid 80s on a really long flat stretch. But I don't think there's any fear of us hitting the 85 limit. Uh, our ETA at Petersfield is 14.58. Well, nearly 14.59. We're due there at 14.55. So we're running uh, about four minutes late currently. Not my fault, it's the train, it's so slow. As I said, we'll see uh, how long it takes us to get to uh, our destination, as to then whether we do uh, another little route. It has got a bit of a Kari bussy sort of horn. Right, a mile to go to Petersfield. Shame it wasn't a bit further because it would have been nice to see uh, exactly what we could have got this thing up to. I don't think there's going to be many opportunities to actually go flat out, not for a long period of time. I don't think we'll be max speeding it. Into Petersfield we come. I wonder what Peter's got in his field. Oh, that's not a bad, gentle bit of uh, braking, or maybe I have to knock it up a, a touch. Yeah, I've got a field. I'm just going to leave it grass. A pig called Herbert could have. Hello, fellow train. Should give you a toot very exacting name for a pig. Oh, I see you've got pigs. No, no, just the one. Just the one, the one. Yeah, just the one. What's his name? Herbert. I used to work with someone uh, who rescued chickens. Yeah, I know. Um, and uh, one of them died once and uh, she buried it, which we couldn't fathom. Um, Right, Liss is in uh, 3.4 miles. Herbert Sherbert with a dip. So you could dip its little curly tail into some Sherbert. You'd have to lick it. No, that's going to be a whole thing, isn't it? Hang on. Oh, there's a crossing. Or oh, really really fast police car.
that's annoying. Uh, right, 3.32 to 3 miles, some, some distance to Liss. It's not like you'd be walking along a high street and you'll see a, a wild chicken, is it? The chances that your chances that actually happening are probably quite slim. This train sounds epic with headphones on. I know. That's definitely a weird noise. Right, a 50 limit. Oh, you just get a little bit of turbo whistle. Sounds so good. Right, just about holding to the 50 limit. Two miles to go to this. Uh, so we failed at every stop so far, so we're doing well. Uh, so we've got Hazelmere, Godalming, uh, Farncombe, Guildford, Warpleston, which I'm sure is a made up place, uh, and Woking. And we have Liss coming into view. Well, not out the train thing, but along the little mappy thing. And an 80 limit. You lived in Whirlpools done in 1960. Well, there you go. It was a long time ago, 1960. It was many of the years. Fact of the day, so it's not a made up place. It, it actually exists. It just sounds made up. First time I think I've ever heard Anybody make reference to Werpleston? It's obviously not famous for anything. I was not it was a long time before I was born, blimey. Right, slowing down into this. So yeah, I got some some new uh, games to sh to uh, to do over the next few weeks on a Thursday. Um, we've got um, what are we doing tomorrow's house builder. We've got sonority to do next week. I've got a, a new flight glider flying thing to do. I've got a new like settlers type game uh, to do. Um, Recipe for disasters had an update. So I've got that to look at. Um, so yeah, I think Thursdays going forward are going to be New Game Thursday for, well, for the next four or five weeks anyway. We like that. We like, we like new things. They'll either be good things or they'll be bad things. And plenty of stuff to do in Train Sim. Still plenty of stuff to go through in Train Sim World 2 as well. Tuesdays are going to be alternating between Flight and OMSI. Uh, Fridays we're struggling. Saturdays are going to carry on with farming in the evening, and then uh, Sundays will be something. We'll find things. There are things. There are many things. Right, we are arriving at Liss. You can tell that by the way that we are. Open the doors.
Bliss. So living there is quite convenient for the train, I suppose, but not great for noise, is it? Something for Sunday and fun, no clue, Friday. Well, not enough of us around, are they? Are there? Right, lip hook in 4.61 of the miles. We're going to get the biz buzzy buzz. We are going to get the buzzy buzz. Thank you. Yeah, this thing definitely accelerates quicker than a 166. Oh, cool. Has anybody been watching? Um, and hopefully you have, because it's awesome. Um, although it's finished now. Uh, Secrets of the London Underground. Uh, which is a brilliant series uh, hosted by an awesome uh, presenter called Tim Dunn uh, who also did um, The Architecture the Railways Built which again is a brilliant series uh, both on UK TV Play go and watch them, available on streaming um, but in the last episode it actually went into a, a signal box on the un London Underground and it last oper operated like a couple of years ago and wow Talk about uh, confusions. Oh, we got four miles to go to the lip hooks. That was so close, Trent. That was really so close. You were just one letter out. You missed a U in brought. So close. Right, three and a half miles. That was a song, wasn't it? Story of my life. Who did that? This train doesn't like hills. One direction. Oh dear. How did I know that? Yeah, it definitely doesn't like the going up hills. So we're due at lip hook, lip hook, lip hook at 1512. Uh, we're supposed to be at 1508. So we're still running four minutes late. It's not bad for us considering we've been going three quarters an hour. Literally flat out, lever all the way back, brakes all the way off, 58 miles an hour. Oh, getting a burst of speed. Oh, I don't think we got... No, we're not going to have enough room to be able to get this thing past its 75 mile an hour maximum speed. No. She's not going to do it, Cam. She can't go any faster.
69. No, I'm gonna have to back off. Apply some brake. I got to 70. Devian, who's Devian? He's me, as Devian, isn't it? <laughs> Trent Jid, 69 of the bits. Thank you, Trent. Could have made it around 70, couldn't you? 69 is quite an awkward number. I'm not saying anything derogatory because this is going on the YouTubes. <laughs> Thank you, Trent. Right, breaking into lip hook. See, see how long this route takes? It should be an hour and a half. So I thought by the time I'm late, this will probably be awkward to get time to do, but... Uh, Knowing the way the timings are in train sim, I don't think it's going to be. Uh, what have we got left to do? We have got uh, Hazelmere, Godalming, Farncombe, Guildford, Warplesden, which we now realise does actually exist. It is a place. And Woking. So 22 miles from there. Yeah, this might be about an hour and a half. Uh, we're running four minutes late currently. So a few stops to go. Hazelmere, 3.87 miles. No. Thank you. The acceleration. Oh, it's just too rapid. Trent's got a gold bit now. Oh yeah, you are bit leader. Trent's just going for everything, and he's a leader of the bits. He's a twenty-seven moth subscriber, and he's uh, he's moderative. That's a word. All oh, right, okay, right. We got an eighty-five limit. I wonder what we're going to do now. I'll take this moment to have a cheeky jelly baby, which might be slightly warm because they've been here about a week. Oh, nice one then. I am God of Twitch. I am God. Hear me not spell. trying to think now it was episode of the west wing my favorite tv show of all time uh one of the main characters well actually one of the intermittent characters is deaf um so does obviously sign language and one of the main characters um tries to uh like lip read and uh, no or read sign it's one of them and gets the word god and dog confused made me think of that. Anyway. My brain works in mysterious ways. A little horn. Trent is the dog of Twitch. Yeah, see that's what I, it's, I thought, since you put God, I thought of dog calling Trent a dog. A little annoying ch no, we said that. Yeah, a little chihuahua. That's Trent. Oh Crispy yeah. uh, would obviously be a Jack Russell, just full of energy. 
and really annoying. Nico's like a little toy poodle. Uh, Three five seven. Uh, thanks very much for the follow. Welcome to um, the madness. Can someone give Pachimin uh, a vowel, please? I think you know might need a couple there. Unless he's got a vowel, he or she. Unless they've got a vowelless keyboard. Yeah, that got held. Um, Michael because of the M word you used in that so uh, maybe try again it's not an overly offensive word but the bot didn't like it a bit sir that would be Trent well it's a kind of dog isn't it it's what's a bit sir Right, we are arriving at uh, Hazelmere. <laughs> a vowel and a consonant, please. I don't even need any consonants, I think just vowels. Unless they're uh, Welsh. It could be a Welsh name, because there's not a lot of vowels in Wales. Or is it one of those things that's supposed to be a thing and I haven't spotted it? It could be that. You know, the thing where you use a... Uh, Trent is a flea-bitten whippet. Well, I think it's been called worse things in life. Trent, you flea-bitten whippet. <laughs> Name change. Might be Nico, because Nico's from up that way. <laughs> I'll take that, says Trent. Ah. Right, doing a braking thing. I just will take that and add the have a little patience going round in my head. Are we actually gonna do stopping? Is, is stopping a thing that's gonna happen or are we just gonna do it slowly? As the pacer pulled slowly into the station. Some sometime some braking would be quite handy. Yorkshire, I love Yorkies. Um, last dog we, uh, my folks had was a Yorkie. Uh, I grew up. We had a Westie, uh, which oh, such a lovely dog. But yeah, um, I'd love a Yorkie if I had to have a, a dog. Well, if I, if I could have a dog, rather. But at the moment, it wouldn't be fair on the dog leaving it in the house on its own all day. Right, Godalming, oh, 8.4 miles. Or could this be the bit where we get the high-speed run? Right, here we go. This is it. Can we get this thing above the 75 mile an hour maximum speed that it says that it can do? Oh, it's slightly downhill as well. This could be it. Hang on, we got to slow down first. Oh, now we get the 85, you scumbag thing. Well, I've not a Yorkie bar in ages. Yorkie with the... Well, I don't... I'm, not, I'm off chocolate. Apart from the chocolate bars I have at work, which are slightly melty at the moment when I open my lunchbox at midday. Right, so yeah, this thing's got a maximum speed of 75 miles an hour. Uh, 
God, imagine it's up the Licky Incline. Uh, that is in this route. Uh, no, I've got a route, Birmingham to Bristol, which does go up the Licky Incline. Um, but I think it's broken, I think. I need to update it. We've got a fridge in the office, but it's the other end of the office, and I'm not walking down there. Although I walk down there several times a day to get the photocopier. Oh, wow. Okay. That's 65. No, the milk's still there. 70. Right, that's 75. That's the maximum speed for the train. How far is it? 15 metres, something like that? 20 metres? Eighty five. Eighty seven. Eighty eight mile an hour. That's got to be a uh, thumbnail. Back to the future pacer. Wow, yeah. That's pretty rapid for a pacer. We are we're still running four minutes late. Yeah, we're probably going to make a little bit of time. Oh, God, that got a bit bouncy. Yeah, definitely rapid pacer. Okay, we've got an 80 limit coming up down here. So I'll back it off. Oh, and then a 60. Well, we did it. Slowing it down. Right, two miles to go to Godalming. Ow. Ow, ow. It's a shame there wasn't an inside view on this because those, obviously, bus seats are awesome.
All right, slowing it down, coming into Godalming. Which means we've got uh, Farncombe, Guildford, uh, Warpolsden, and Woking to go. Pastors look happy. Would you look happy if you're sat on a pacer? Oh, Farncombe's not that far after Godalming either. Yeah, Nico could probably lay flat on one of those seats. He's probably got one of those beds that you get kids that as they get older you extend the bed. It's still set in its shortest length. He's probably got a single bed, he just sleeps across it. Right, here we are in Godalming. If we can stop. Fly anywhere in Europe. Okay. I hear the bells. The bells! Oops, finger slipped. If you're new to the streams, uh, it's something I do every Wednesday. Not the same journey every Wednesday, because that would just be ridiculous. Uh, but Train Sim Classic on a Wednesday. Uh, other trains are Train Sim World 2 uh, on a Saturday lunchtime. Um, next stream after this one is back tomorrow night with a new game, uh, House Builder. Not played it before, not looked at anything, no idea what's going to happen. So it's going to be an interesting one, hopefully. Uh, Farncombe is next in uh, 0.99 mile. We'll take it gently. Yeah, I, I, I never used to drink Red Bull, really. I used to drink a lot of Lucozade as a hangover cure. i get through one of those big bottles of Lucozade, maybe two on a Sunday, just to try and make me feel relatively human. Yeah, I don't, I don't drink any fizzy drinks now. I survive on coffee and orange squash. Although in this weather, not many coffees. One at like 20 past 6 in the morning, one at half past 7, and then that's it. Right, we are waiting to arrive in Farngham. Uh, no, I don't put ice in it. Just nice cold water from t tap. And sometimes I'll do a pint of orange squash in the kitchen, walk back into the living room, uh, and have drunk it by the time I get to the sofa. So then I, I turn around and walk back out and do another one. And then that will just sit there on the side then for the next hour, probably. I've actually been having ice cream. Uh, I don't know we do cold things, but we've given ice cream at work uh, a few weeks ago and it was last hot. And uh, then I bought some. So, uh, yeah, mint choc chip cornettos. 
Although I realised I had the last one last night after the stream, so I've now run out. Bad planning. Just one Cornetto. Leave it to me. Right, we are arriving at Farncombe. Farncombe is our next station stop. For those people wishing to get off at Farncombe, get off now. I haven't got a lot in my freezer currently, it's a bit empty. I need to do some of the, the frozen type food shopping. Yeah, I don't like... I can cope with a Cornetto because you can just get your tongue in there. Um, as it were. Uh, I don't like things you can bite. I like giving a good lick. Guildford is in uh, 3.1... I don't mind a twister. 3.18 of the miles. Oh, I've just doing... Hang on. Release the breaky things. Thank you. Go, 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 go. So we've got Guildford, Warplesden, and Woking to go. And then we'll see what uh, we've got that's uh, a little one. I think I've got, I've done it before, Bristol to Western Supermare, I think, in a pacer. See if we can do that one. This thing just sounds so good. It's Western Super Medi. I used to have the big bottom box set which was all the live ones and the TV shows and Guest House Paradiso. Uh, but when I was going to downsize and move into a one-bed flat, uh, I sold all my DVDs. Um, and to try and buy it again now, God, it's expensive. But the Isle of Wight and the Pacer, I do want to do, and I might do it next week, potentially, the, the new uh, train thing for the Isle of Wight. So I'll do that. I don't know quite why I slowed down that early. Hi, Liam. If there was some of the slowing down happening. It happened. It, it was a thing. I slowed down. Far too early, but I slowed down. I grab my shaft at the base. I can only push it forward. I can't pull it backwards. No. I cannot. No. Can't do it. Oh, blimey. We've got a 25 limit. Coming into Guildford. Be prepared to do the slowy down thing then. Uh, good evening, Gary. Can we call you Gary? Because it's, it's in there. Is there an overground Gary and a wumbling free Gary as well? We need to know these things. That's a dark bit of tunnelage. Dog her nuts. 
guessing he was going for donuts. It was so close. I think I've ever watched Spongebob. So we scared him off now. Donuts. That's better. Unless you're eating a dog's nuts, but that's a whole different thing. Um, slowing it down into Guildford we come. <laughs> Only on Sundays. Good. <laughs> Is it Gary from Wolverhampton? You know what's my name's Gary? From Wolverhampton. Could be a mole because it's underground and all that. It's from Dudley. Ah, oh. yeah, we're from Dudley. <laughs> breaking, break, breaking, some, some breaking. Can we, can we do the breaking? Oh, we put the bloody sign there. Hi, Hillsman. Uh, okay, open the door things. So we were doing Guildford at 1533. Our ETO is 1537. So we're doing well. Bang on time. As always. It's a pacer. Which started out as a Leyland National. You're from North London. You work on the underground. Well, that's not as much fun as calling you a Womble and you being from Wolverhampton. Because like many, I can't do a North London accent. <laughs> From North London, innit? I work on the bloody underground, don't I? That wasn't, that was more Essex, wasn't it? Essex! <laughs> don't scare him off. Uh, okay. Uh, what are we doing now? Oh, that thing. Nope, DRA thing off. Ah, so he's probably watched. You are a Womble. Fair play. So you've probably watched then Secrets of the London Underground. So I mentioned that earlier and no one seemed to have watched it. Alright, on our way to... Uh, he's slowly regretting being here. Yeah, but you've all done that. You all do that every single time. <laughs> why am I here? I come on here to watch a stream and he takes the piss out of me. Why, why do I keep coming back? I've been doing this for six years. I slowly regret coming here. Right, eight. I don't. I love it actually at the moment. Uh, oh, it's that's a noise. Uh, oh god, there's no escape now, is there? Shorty, thanks for that. Uh, Underground Gary, you are now one of us. Ha ha! You're a marked man now. Thank you, Shorty. Right, 2.85 miles to uh, Warplesdon, which we did find out earlier, actually exists. I thought it was a made-up place they just put in there just to uh, test us. One of us, one of us. We're all slightly mad. Some of us more than others. You <laughs> blame the heat. Help, I need somebody. I really want to sort out my um, musical thing thing this weekend because we can do some trucking in a couple of weeks' time. So I need to do that. Get your Sims of Stuff t-shirt now. I'm wearing mine. Trent does have one. He's got a couple of hoodies as well, I think. He 
you've got a red one. No. No. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. I'm not. No. It's going on YouTube. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Yeah, if anyone is new to the streams and you wonder what this madness is, watch the clip that's just been posted, uh, The Trucking with Susan, uh, which we will recreate in a couple of months' time uh, on its fifth year anniversary. Yeah, I've been doing this that long. How is it five years? I don't know how it's five years. Right, slowing down into Warplesden. You feel old. You are old. I'm only 23. I was only 18 when I started doing this. 17 when I started doing this. Think about that quickly, didn't I? You're 53, Michael. Blimey. Get all your bits out of you in this heat. Blimey. Uh, thank you, Trent. That is many of the bits. He was innocent until that stream. Uh-huh. I was slightly drunk on that stream. Right, we are arriving at Warplesden. Trent's one of the few that uh, joined us during lockdown. Um, we gained quite a few people in the community uh, during that. Some have stayed. We lost a few. <laughs> We've gained a few. It's up and down. People come, people go. Right, here we are at Warplesden. It's a place. There's a station building and some cottagey type things and some trees. Warplesden, famous for its trees. Thirteenth for December, twenty twenty. When you subscribe, they should have Ed. Yeah, it's been around a while. Uh, I think my longest follower now that's still here on Twitch is Larwood. I think he followed on Larwood. He followed on Larwood. He followed on Twitch before I'd even actually done anything on Twitch. Um, Tuck's never really been a subscriber. I think he's still following. I think he's just off having one of those, you know, life things. Right, 2.5 miles to Woking. Which is our final stop for this one, but we will do another one. Yeah, it's no longer a thing, I don't think, Hillsman. Yeah, so Michael, uh, been around for a couple of years. So it's not going to be too far off. It's still an hour and a half, although we're currently running five minutes late. Yeah, it's on cooldown, Hillsman. Um, so we're not doing too bad on time. Actually, it's quite a nice little run. So we will we'll do another one after this. I think there's a couple of little ones we can do. I do like a little one. We'll stay in a pacer. So yeah, new game tomorrow night. 
Uh, I keep forgetting, I have to look at the Steam thing. Uh, house builder. Uh, Friday night, we're trying to make a multiplayer. I'd like to. I don't want to sort of miss out on the multiplayer streams. Uh, although we did train. Uh, but, well, actually, buses wasn't really multiplayer yesterday, was it? The last multiplayer stream we did was last Saturday for farming. If we don't do anything on Friday, the next multiplayer we do will be next Saturday for farming. That's not enough for the multiplayers. You feel like it should be longer. I've been thinking that for a while. Blame Crispy because he's not here. Well... Yeah, one person shouldn't make a difference, really. But I'm sure we'll regret him being back next week. Okay, and we come into Woking. I'll have a look. I don't know what other short journeys I've got. So I've done the one from Bristol to Western Supermare uh, a few times. Um... Well, I, have to, I only just checked the 142, so I might check the 143, so we've got anything. But I do like the 142. That's a long one. Right, into Woking we come. Yeah, I've always said that, and it it was on their uh, agenda long term to have multiplayer in Fern Bus. It was something that was mentioned, and I think it would lend itself quite well to multiplayer because the maps are really good, the the vehicles are really good. I think Taurus Bus would because it's a smaller island, so having people closer together on a smaller island, I think would actually be more enjoyable. So we're trying again on Taurus Bus this coming Sunday. It failed on the PS5 last Sunday. We're going to try it on the Xbox uh, Series X uh, this Sunday. See if we can actually get the map to work. I'm going to try it before the stream just to make sure I can open the map. Right, so we've arrived at Woking, the end of this scenario. We will go and do another one. Journey complete. Another driver will relieve you. Sorry. For the remainder of the journey to London Waterloo. Your efforts could have been better. Examine the trip summary for more details. My efforts could have been better. Sounds like my school report. A tendency to daydream was my thing. Uh, yeah, I stopped at zero out of 15 targets. The birthday special. Uh, okay. Let's have a look and see... Um, There's the um, uh, Portsmouth, not Portsmouth, Penzance to uh, London is there. Uh, let's see what we've got uh, on Korea. Uh, let's try 143 then. Uh, Riviera line, we could do that. 20 minutes. Uh, South Wales Coastal. We could do that. Cardiff. That was the first one of the day, though. What's that one? Drive the first approach class to Dawlish. See how the computers like look and feel. Um, did we try it? Let's try 143 on that one, then. 143. Uh, I don't know how long that is though. Okay, we'll go and do that one. One, four, three. We'll do the. We'll do that one. First look. Let's do that. We'll stay with the Viet with the Pacer. Twenty minute thing. There it is. And here we see its wild habitat, two. 
pacery things. Not in service. Drive this brand new Class 143 on the 1459 passenger service down to Dawlish. This will be commuter's first time on this service, so make sure you're uh, out to please everyone. Good luck, driver. Oh, this is not... Why? This is nicer. It's got more of the windowy things. Uh, hang on. I've got to do the um, the opening door thing, haven't I? Put the lights on. Yeah, open door thing. Oh, we got an inside view. Why haven't I used this on a long journey? Got some shaft work. I got a sticking shaft. We got windows. Oh, we haven't got windows open. Okay. Uh, we're in that. Brakes are off. We're ready to go once passengers are done. Need more oil on it. HST. HST down there, look. HST coming in. HST. Oh, so nice. Uh, right. Uh, let's do the brakes release. Let's do the go thing then. It's quick. actually prefer um, uh, I think I prefer the other one if it's had opening windows I think it'll be alright uh, so where are we going we're going to Exeter St Thomas Star Cross Dawlish Warren and Dawlish it's a bit, bit quieter isn't it oh another one He hasn't got his lights on. Right, Exeter St. Thomas. It's been on the pacer from Leicester to Norwich. Still feel the backache. Well, this one's posh though, isn't it? This one's got posh, like, proper seats and everything, although I'm facing backwards. Yeah, it's been the last run that we do this evening. I don't know why I'm talking like this. This is how I actually talk in real life. It really is just a bus on rails. The original ones were based on the Leila National. <laughs> What's that? I'm not going to do it. I, I nearly, there was nearly an attempt on it then. I thought, no, not doing it. I feel offend the Germans. Swedish. Swedish train driver, that's what we need. You know, just quick, quickly show them the next of kin card. That's the other thing we can do. Uh, right. Oh. Open the doors. Where's Hans? Hans, feet und bumsy daisy. What's your Hello, hello. Good morning. <laughs> I. That's not white. No, I'm not going to go there, Michael. Um, we arrived at Exeter St. Thomas. 
the next train station we're going to is Starcross. Please, if you want to go to the Starcross, get on the train and get off to Starcross. Thank you very much. Uh... We don't appear. Oh, yes, we are. No, we're moving. Yep, th there's movement. It's still showing his own brakes applied, but they're off. The brakes are released. It's fine now. I'm just running. The brakes are actually reducing slowly. Maybe just wearing them out. It might be a long seven miles. Yeah, the, the brake pressure is actually dropping. There we go. So they're fine now. They're almost off. Yeah, I actually prefer this for the the view out. It's better. But I think I prefer the audio. If I was intelligent enough, see, I'd get the audio from the other train and put it on this one. Phone the AA. Probably got 100 mile an hour. What's this thing? Maximum speed, 75. We've got 100 mile an hour section coming up. I don't think that's going to happen somehow. have a go. They won't be able to fix much because they'll be, you know, actually no, they're not alcoholics anymore. That's the idea of going to AA. You get your, your one day badge and your one week badge and your one month badge and your one year badge. It does amuse me where you see, I've seen interviews of people that are in their like 40s or 50s and claim that they're a recovering alcoholic uh, because whilst they were at college between 18 and 21 they drunk a lot it's like, like really you're not really that's what everyone does why is there a dog barking in the back Hans brought his dog. This thing's actually getting a a wriggle on fairly well. So we're only running about a minute late because of the whole, you know, slow accelerating thing. Definitely prefer the other version. What we could do, Alexa, how many sleeps till Christmas? It's 165 sleeps until Christmas. Santa has a Christmas cracker joke he wants to share with us. What falls at the North Pole but never gets hurt? Hmm, I don't know. Snow! <laughs> Another cracking joke, Santa. Come back tomorrow for another Christmas update. 
yeah, they're getting worse, aren't they? Just because it's the middle of summer and it's a really hot day, I think Santa's given up a little bit. I can't blame Santa. This is actually getting to 75 mile an hour a lot easier than the other one did. Was this the... Okay, for you plane... Plane? Train bought weirdos. So was this the last iteration of a pacer then, the 143? Was, was it not a 144? Someone's going to know. There was a 144. Oh, okay. We are now closer to next Christmas than last Christmas. Won't be long. Hottest day of the year coming up in a couple of days' time. And uh, in like three months' time, we'll be complaining that it's dark. You know, you come home from work, it'll be pitch black. Can't wait for that. Put the heating on. Right, two miles to go. Oh, the 144 was the final one. There we go. Yeah, I've struggled the last uh, the last two Hillsmen. Um, so it's my parents' wedding anniversary on Boxing Day as well. So that was... Um, I think that's the tougher day for me than Christmas Day. Because it was always a day of getting family together and celebrating their wedding anniversary. And so spending the last two Christmases on my own have been uh, a bit of a challenge. Which is why I've been streaming on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. There were a few of us on the farm, I think, last Christmas Day. Which is really cool. Right, slowing down to Starcross. I'm still trying to work out a way. There's a there's a, a video I want to do. Um, I've got some notes and things I want to talk about. Um, I don't want to do it as a gaming video. Um, I want to do it more of a as a vlog. Um, but I've just got to find the right location to do it. Um, and it talks about um, a little bit depression as I do, uh, and the way that um, for me uh, doing this has helped me um, stay alive uh, for the last couple of years. So uh, I will put that out. Uh, probably over the next couple of weeks when I actually uh, get to it. Right, we are arriving at Star Cross. It does sound more turbo-y, this one, though, from the outside. But the inside, I think it's because it's not opening windows. It doesn't sound quite as good on the inside. Yeah, I know Dorset, which is why I want to do, uh, I, I don't know, I just feel as I want to do something uh, and put something out there. Um, not, it won't be on the main YouTube channel, it'll be on the second YouTube channel and it'll be like a vlog style rather than just a gaming thing. Um, just as what I've gone through and uh, like a lot of people have. Um, depression and uh, loss and loneliness sounds like a country western song
I lost my dog. I'm depressed and I'm all alone now. Yeehaw. Could be a country western song. Dawlish Warren. He's a guy called Warren. He's from Dawlish. A bit like uh, Underground Gary. He's probably run away now. Uh, he's called Gary. He lives on the underground. Uh, right, Dawlish Warren. Two miles. We're just going to let the brake thing do its thing. Just flat out. Brake pressure is dropping slowly. Come on, train. You can do it. It's actually moving forward really, really slowly. There we go. Uh, exactly, Michael. And that's been... I don't want to bring this stream down, uh, but there's been a, uh, probably half a dozen times in the last two years uh, where, uh, like a lot of people going through what I've gone through and I'm going through, uh, you get to a point where you think there's nothing worth living for and you're at that point where you want to just end the pain and you've got that way out. And it's been those times that doing this um, has made me think that, no, I can get through tomorrow. The day after will be better than that. And the day after will be better than that. Yeah, but where's the fun in that, Mr. Burns? Just let the break things do... No, the, the longer it takes me to get to the end, the longer the stream is, you know, so there is a, a negative there. Some people class it as a positive. I think that some people class it as a negative. Oh, God, is he still going? What's going on here? You wait till Christmas, there's going to be an eight-hour pacer trip. That's going to be a long one. When I'm sad, think of Omzi. That makes it worse. I really think, and I, I've, this has happened a, lot, a couple of times in the last year or so, uh, I really think I am nearly at the point now of just saying enough's enough with OMSI. Uh, I've, I've taken a break from it a few times, but I think I might actually, because there's so much other stuff that I want to do, uh, not only multiplayer, but sort of single player stuff as well, um, that I think it might be time to just drop OMSI. Yes, uninstall OMSI. Hi, Craig. Uh, yeah, I try not to have it come across on the streams, Michael. There are occasionally where I haven't been in a streaming mood. Um, but uh, the streams do give me something to do. Right, 25 limit. So, yeah, it's the last journey we'll do uh, this evening. A bit of pace of fun. Cheer you up. Indeed. Right, we've got a track change and a speed limit change. Let's bring the speed down. What again, uh, as anyone knows that deals with and has gone through depression, people that haven't, don't understand it, uh, just think that they need to cheer you up. Um, it's not about that. Omzi, I've I've been doing Omzi for the last six years. Um, I, as a concept, I like it. Uh, when there's new maps to do, uh, it can be enjoyable. Um, its bugginess can be frustrating, and it ends up I don't know it ends up being this just the same thing. And there's so much content out there. Um, 
that I'd like to do. And I know the YouTube was built around OMSI. That's where a lot of people came to the YouTube channel from, for OMSI. I think Twitch is a bit more accommodating. I think uh, Twitch people like to see a bit of variety. Although, you know, train sim every Wednesday, it's, it's train sim every Wednesday, but it's different routes, different trains, etc. Um, so I think a bit, bit of variety is, is good. You know, I like doing new stuff because it's fresh and new for me. I think people like seeing either new games. I'm not one of those who's going to jump on the bandwagon of every hot release. Um, but I quite like going back and playing games maybe that I've not played before so do that there's certainly a lot of um um multiplayer stuff that i'd like to do um that might be stuff that's been out there a while that can be cheap free that could be fun so there's things to try it's things i want to do um yeah i was on Citalopram, uh mr burns and it made me feel awful uh so i stopped taking it um right Dawlish is next in 1.63 of the miles. We're going to do the same thing with the brakes because it's a thing now. So we've got Dawlish. Oh, Dawlish is the last stop. Take my anger instead. I take the mood off the depression, uh, the mind off the depression, I suppose. Give you somewhere to hang your coat. Moving slowly. Yeah, I'll try and get the video up on uh, somewhere but my track IR. Yeah, uh, I'll try and get the video up on the second uh, YouTube channel in the next couple of weeks. I, I know sort of what I want to do and how I want to do it. Uh, but I don't want it to be sat at the computer. Um, so uh, I'll do something. There we go. We're moving. God, imagine doing this on a London to Edinburgh. I could just, good for me, if I needed a pee or something on the stream, I could just put the throttle on, go for a pee and come back. It still wouldn't have moved from the station. That's pretty much what these are, though, Hillsman. That's why I like these streams where I haven't got much to focus on. You know, the train sim streams are easy because there's not a lot going on. Uh, flight is a bit like that because I haven't got to concentrate on much. Um, you know, some of the games where I've got to do more, I'm not as relaxed. So that's why I quite like this. It's nice and chilled for me. It's quite an easy stream from my point of view. I don't know what house build is gonna be like tomorrow night. I might actually have to concentrate I'll say Friday, I'll confirm uh, tomorrow morning who's going to be available for uh, Wreckfest Friday. As it stands at the moment, I don't think there's going to be enough of us this week. Uh, there hopefully will be next week um, to do some Wreckfest. Oh yeah, car reviewers and stuff that will just drive along and talk to the camera. I could probably do that. It would be like, exciting. Uh, this is a line where the... Uh, no, this is Dawlish. The one where the line collapsed was Penzance. Yeah, there's a couple of other videos I want to do. Uh, either video, I don't know how to do it. I'd like to do something to show um, who I follow on YouTube. 
um, just an interest thing the people I watch because um, I found some really good channels recently some really interesting stuff um, on a variety of different um, topics um, and I'd love to do one on my like some of my favorite TV shows um, to show that but I don't know how I could do it without obviously copyright being a thing Yeah, and things. I'd like to do stuff like that to um, to uh, to talk about things. We, something we've been doing within the, in the Discord for the last few years now. Um, a couple of us uh, get together weekly and watch a film, same film at the same time, um, and we used to get together um, and watch like TV shows. Um, there's only two of us that do that now. Um, so I'd like to do something like that just to try and get a bit of like engagement within the Discord um, as well but not necessarily on the gaming subject I was actually talking with a, a, a separate Discord to try and do something um, just try and keep a bit of interest going from my point of view and to be able to talk about stuff other than gaming because um, I've got no other release to be able to do that so I think that maybe could be a thing alright we have arrived in the Dawlish and to prove it, ta -da! it's dollish with some multicolored C. I really must uninstall my uh, train sim and reinstall it. I say that every week. I've been, I've been to Dawlish is quite nice actually. It's quite nice as a place. Guess Steve's age, winner Teddy. Actually, that's a, a thing I will be discussing in the uh, in the vlog. I've made notes on that. Uh, well done, driver. There seems to be a lot of talking between the commuters. Let's hope it's all positive regarding the look and feel of the refurbishment. You provided a nice run for them. 61. Jesus, if I was that old, I'd be like, yay, retirement soon. In fact, I've still got 16 years. Yeah, 16 years left on my mortgage. I don't think I'm going to be 61 somehow. Uh, right, there we go then. That was uh, some pacer action. Uh, enjoyed that. That was uh, yeah enjoyable couple of runs there in the pacer. That's one we just did on the Riviera line. Uh, started out on the oh in a one four two wasn't it? We did first of all. Uh, we did that. Uh, Southwestern Main Line, Southampton to Bournemouth is the one we did first. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I lied. Ignore that. It wasn't that one. It wasn't that one at all. It was that one. Portsmouth Direct. That's the one we did. Um, yeah, because that's the uh, East Coast Main Line one we've done. Uh, Wakayama and Sakurai Line we've done. And then that's the pa Penzance to Paddington and Paddington to Penzance uh, that we've done. So we've got to do this year is going to be the opposite. So it's going to be the East Coast Main Line going the other way. So we've done Edinburgh to London, stopping at every station. This year, this year we're going to do London to Edinburgh, stopping at main stations only. Um, so that's going to be the plan for this uh, Christmas. So uh, looking forward to that one. Uh, so there we go. Uh, so thanks to you lot in chat then for keeping me company uh, for the last couple of hours. Uh, next stream is back tomorrow night at 6.30 uh, for something new. Uh, house Builder. Uh, not seen any content on it, not seen any gameplay on it, no idea what to do. Um, so we'll learn that one uh, tomorrow night. Friday night, something, don't know what yet to be confirmed. Uh, Saturday lunchtime, Train Sim World 2, more trains looking at the Arosa line, my first time looking at that. Uh, Saturday night, back on the farm. Uh, and uh, Sunday afternoon, uh, second attempt at doing Taurus Bus from the beginning on console, this time on the Xbox Series X. Hopefully we have a map. Uh, so yes, thank you to you lot uh, for keeping me company and to uh, this lot as well. Which could also include you lot. Thanks to Trent for the many bits. 200 of them indeed. To Larwood, Nightbot, Trent and Shorty for doing uh, no moderation because you guys are great. To Pritchman, uh, 357 for following. Uh, Shorty and Underground. Uh, thanks to Shorty uh, for resubscribing. 
Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, I will be back then tomorrow night for the new thing. Uh, until then, if you have been, thanks very much for watching.